बिकॉज जुलाई मंथ इज गोइंग ऑन एंड सून वी विल एंटर इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो ऑल्सो प्लानट चेंज देअर पोजिशन एज पर टाइम टू टाइम सो वट एवर दे चेंज द पोजिशन इन वट एवर द साइंस और नक्षत्र दे अफेक्ट अर लाइफ सो वट एवर द पोजिशन विल हैपन इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट विल गिव यू कम्प्लीट एनालिसिस बेस्ड ऑन दैट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑफ मंथली हॉरोस्कॉप प्रडिक्शन फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स हर एक शिवर्स वेलकम टू वैदिक एस्ट्रो के इन एम ज्योतिष आचार्य पूजा सो लाइक आई मैंशन दैट इन टू इन द सीरीज ऑफ अ मंथली हॉरोस्कॉप प्रोडिक्शन विच इज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी विल गिव यू द कम्प्लीट एनालिसिस अबाउट फर्स्ट जोडिक साइन दैट इज एरीज फॉर द एरीज नेटिव हाउ द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट विल बी फॉर द पर्सनल लाइफ एज वेल एज फॉर द प्रोफेशनल लाइफ बेस्ड ऑन द ट्रांसिट और द मूवमेंट ऑफ द प्लानट विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू मेक वन रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बिल नोटिफिकेशन एंड ऑल्सो शेयर आर चैनल एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड लाइक इट ऑल्सो सो द ट्रांजिट सिनेरियो विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट वुड बी लाइक दिस योर लग्नेश मार्स इज ट्रांजिटिंग अलॉग विद मर्करी इन योर फिफ्थ हाउस विच इज अ वेरी गुड पोजिशन इन अ लग्ना राव अलॉग विद जुपिटर आर ट्रांजिटिंग एंड योर सेवंथ हाउस केतु इज ट्रांजिटिंग सैट इन रेट्रोगेट मोशन ट्रांजिटिंग इन योर इलेवंथ हाउस हाउस ऑफ लाब in your fourth house sun along with venus are transiting so you will see certain changes in their position like on venus on 7th of august will become retrograde in cancer sign sun on 17th of august will join mars and mercury in fifth house in leo sign mars on 18th of august will join virgo in your sixth house your lagnesh and uh, mercury on 24th of august in leo sign will become retrograde so this is the complete uh, scenario of the of the movement or the transit of the planet which will happen in the month of august now based on that let's uh, let's th- let's see that how it affect your life be it's your personal as well as your professional let's begin with your health which is very important now sixth lord mercury uh, uh, is a transiting along with your lagnesh mars in your fifth house now you may witness some certain skin related issues or skin infections or blood related infection and also you will may get a side effect of medicine so whatever medicine you are taking be cautious about it also you will see a, a better condition for your health because your lagnesh is transiting in a very good position until the last week and until of the mid of the uh, this august the first part of the august will be very good for you you will may get uh, get a good improvement in your uh, health Uh, position so also but you have to take care about your health because those who are having a severe health issue they need to be very careful about it because after 18th of august when your lagnesh will join your sixth house then may this may trigger some health related issue before that it is very good so you can say that overall you will may witness some ups and downs related to your health and also because of fifth house you may be some uh, you may be some uh, confused about uh, or taking some decisions or some mental stress or anxiety because 12th lord rahu along with Uh, to, sorry 12th lord jupiter along with rahu is also are transiting in your lagna so lot of comp- uh, confusion speculation skepticism can be seen during during this month you must be facing because these planets are already transiting in your lagna so need to be very careful about it moreover you should do some uh this uh, jupiter related uh, uh, remedies or rahu related remedies if you want to come out of the uh, bad effect of these planets overall the month of jupiter uh, uh, month of august will be normal for you pertaining to your health now let's talk about your education and career lagnesh uh, mars is transiting in your fifth house along with mercury which is the sixth lord so lot of good performance can be seen along with some struggles ups and downs but they will give you excellent performance in your education uh, if you are preparing for the comp- addition you will also witness that kind of certain kind of um, like a uh, some hurdles kind of uh, a problem related to focus or concentration above all i i can see that you may get a good success in competition as well and also you may travel lot relating to your uh, like uh, education because you might get admission some out of your uh, place and also better opportunity can be seen in the campus placement for a new starter or for a new beginner you may get a good placement but along with that you have to go through a lot of hard work and struggle because 10th lord saturn is transiting in 11th house in a retrograde motion so very slow progress you may witness at that time you need to be very uh, focused very patient and you should know that hard work is the only way to uh, stay uh, in your career and to get a progress in your career there's no shortcut for the career or a success you should know that and you should uh, like uh, 
think about it and also i can see that for uh, if you're trying uh, to get admission in a foreign university you may get some hurdles along with that's a lot of expenditure relating to this you may witness but overall you may get success to getting admission in a foreign university like always i told that always i tell you that uh, you should do a, a meditation if you have any consultation on focus related problem this will definitely help you out now we will let's talk about your workplace and your business for Aries native how it will be in the month of August. So you may witness a lot of workload at your workplace, huge workload. You may, may face a lot of hurdle or obstacles for finalizing your work or completing your task or goal because you have to put a lot of efforts or multiple uh, times of uh, trying to get your work done. At the same time, you may get a good support from your boss and you will be a very uh, good, uh, highly confident and also very courageous. Some uh, uh, trifle issue can be seen with the colleagues, so you need to be very careful about it. Try to avoid any kind of office gossips or politics. And also, if you're trying for a new job, you may get some good success, especially in the first part of the month. And also, uh, uh, you need to avoid being lazy and try, don't try to avoid the work. So this may ca cause a backfire on you. So you to be very careful about it not let's talk about your business so business you must be facing a lot of struggle because of k2 is transiting in your seventh house although seventh lord venus is transiting in your fourth house which is a very good position good chances uh, can be seen in the uh, property sector or the real estate uh, business at the same time you may witness a lot of ups and downs because of K2 may give you a lot of speculations and a lot of confusion taking even a small decision because of Rahu and Jupiter also transiting from in the Lagna casting a full aspect on your 7th house. So you may witness this kind of problem. At the same time, you may also witness some good gain in your business because uh, Saturn is transiting in your 11th house in a retrograde motion. No matter, they will give you a lot of struggle and hard work to get a gain. But overall, Saturn makes sure that you will definitely get a good price of your hard work. At the same time, you may see that uh, little increment in your savings sectors, but little down in your financial sector. So overall, take any decision with utmost uh, uh, cautious because uh, any wrong decision may cause a bad effect on your business. Now let's talk about your love relationship and your marriage relationship, how it will be in the month of August. For the love relationship, I can see that you will be very uh, confident in the relationship because your Lagnesh transiting in your fifth house along with Mercury. But don't forget the Mercury is also Lord of your sixth house. So chances of small issues can be seen in your relationship or some <clears throat> Uh, like uh, uh, strains in relationships, some kind of quarrel in relationship, and also uh, at the same time you will uh, become so eager to take a decision, or you may try to put a pressure in your relationship on your partner. So don't do that; otherwise, you will lose the string in your relationship. At the same time, retrograde Saturn is also transiting in your eleventh house, casting a full aspect on the fifth house. So you may witness a lot of ups and downs. Some old issues may crop up in your relationship, may, may resurface in your relationship. So try to avoid. Uh, these kind of small issues and act like a mature person and sincere person if you really want to see a success in your relationship if you're waiting for a marriage you have to wait a little longer this is not a good time for uh, marriage, uh, finalizing your marriage proposal although you should keep trying by the end of this um, at the end of the month you may get some little success but overall you need to wait patiently now let's talk about your marriage relationship since k2 is transiting in your seventh house so the problems are there because this Ketu cause a detachment wherever it sits. So you may feel some kind of distance or detachment in your relationship overall. Rahu and Jupiter also are spending a full aspect on your 7th house. And 7th uh, Saptamesh position is also very good in a 4th house. So uh, any misunderstanding between your partner and your family will be sorted out. And you will see a good relationship uh, will develop uh, between you and your family. But overall you have to work uh, very hard on your relationship. You need to do a cooperate with your uh, life partner. Listen to them. If any problems, any issues, try to sort it out on the very on the very spot because don't drag any a small issue to to other to further because uh, this may become a big issue so try to avoid it because rahu and ketu uh, until unless they are there in your lagna and seventh house you have to be very careful about it if you're trying a budgeting a child you may uh, seek a medical uh, treatment or some medicine it may require and also uh, you may get a good uh, like a satisfaction from your children if you already have a children now viewers i will tell, uh, tell you some remedy and you should do that with utmost faith and uh, utmost devotion if you really want to get a good success wealth prosperity in your life and nullify the bad effect of the planet you should uh, donate a uh, uh, like white things uh, in a temple to uh, strengthen your uh, saptamesh 
venus and at the same time you should serve cow because whenever you serve the cow your venus will get stronger and they start giving a good result and also you should uh, serve a cow with the green grass to strengthen your mercury your six uh, the who the sixth lord at the same time you may uh, recite shri sukta part on every friday evening to remove all kind of economic problems or any kind of uh, uh, um, like um, misunderstanding that you may see in your relationship so you should do it these remedies to get a maximum benefit viewers if you have any suggestion questions or query to comment on our comment box hari krishna